The Legend of Super Mario. We're just gonna check it out for a little bit. Um, I don't know, I just thought it would be fun to randomly throw this on during the week. Because it seems like a really high quality version of The Legend of Zelda. The music is a little different. Just a little different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, I mean, this is actually work. Everything is just about different, except the magic rod, which is just the magic rod. But there's one in Mario 3, so why not? Lario. Oh, this is actually a little different than even I expected. Like, I think it's a completely custom adventure. Yeah, this is- this is pretty cool. Good use of the, um, Mario 3. Hills have eyes. Before the movie, before the, you know, whatever it was, Mario's hills had eyes. Someone wanted to know how I felt about the Charles Martinet message today. I didn't watch all of it, but I watched a little a little bit. And, um, I don't know how I feel about it, because it's, you know... There's still wild conspiracy theories that Charles was forced out. But, I mean... I don't know, he seems kind of happy. Why, though? I don't know. Um, I- this is- it's- it's not me for me to speculate. I really- I've, I've talked about it as much as I could. Um, in a previous video. But, um, I don't know. Guy gets to go around, travel, meet fans, get paid, do what he loves. He was like, I don't even know what a Mario ambassador is. So, I guess he could just make it whatever he wants it to be. He does call me a Moto Papa, which I think is very cute. But yeah, I I hope he continues to live a good life and enjoy. And I hope to see him again at another convention because I saw him earlier this year, like I said, and he was really cool and really nice. And uh, I I hope I continue seeing him in the convention circuit. That would warm my cold dead heart. The fact that he and David Hayter were both at the same con and just like hanging out and you know being like top shit was uh was truly a sight to behold. Two legends. No, I don't think they did a bit together. I wasn't around their tables. My table where I signed was on the complete opposite side, but I got to hang out with David a little bit, and he was cool, and Charles I saw a couple times. Um, backstage, so to speak, and he was just, you know, drinking tea. <laughs> just being cool. Not really... I don't really have any specific story, but he was nice. Ah, there we go. Oh, we got a Pat raid. Oh shit. Hey Pat, thanks. Hey everyone. Yeah. But yeah, don't expect a full playthrough of this. Don't post your kappas. I'm just checking this out, because this seems like a really high quality Legend of Zelda adventure starring Mario. And guess what? It is. It's a completely new set of dungeons. 
It's got, um, reskinned items, new music, new graphics. It's, it's really, really high quality. Dungeon is actually following the layout of World 1 2. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh my fucking god, you're right. Okay, that's pretty amazing. Um... Okay, yeah, this is the warp in... Well, not the warp, this is the pipe that you go down in 1-2. Well, this is really great. I'm very impressed by this. Attempt to defeat a boss with, um, oh my god. It's a Gleok, but it is a, a, a Koopa. Of course it is. It's Larry? I guess it could be just anyone. Yeah, I guess it is Larry. Dude. Um... Fake fan doesn't know Aquamentus. Oh wait, well that's a three-headed dragon or, oh no, 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 wait. The three-headed dragon isn't that early in the game, is it? Uh-oh, fake fan. I should have my Zelda license revoked. Someone said a one-eyed monster. I know what you're trying to do there, I, I get it. And I would never make such a disgusting joke. Never mind that in the minds of several thousand people, yeah, is always associated with Sonic the Hedgehog. Thank you for that, chat member. I, again, I prefer not to encourage big sub bombs. I, I'd like people to, like, not spend too much money on me. Um, because I'm already doing fine. Uh, but I will say once in a while, thank you, chat member. And I might not always. I hope that's okay. Yeah, not too much. I don't mind if someone spends their free Amazon Prime thing. That's cool. Listen, chat, I lost $560,000 uh, gambling in Atlantic City, so I'm gonna- I'm gonna need your sub- No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, this is a joke! There's gonna be a chat member that's like, No, 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 when Vinny jokes about that, he means it. No, he's serious. I know him. It's like why Blood Bagel is about assholes. It's because Vinny's an asshole. <laughs> the debt arc.
Wait, I got two full mushrooms from that? So this Mario sprite is Mario 3 Small Mario. Um, I wonder if there's hidden places to bomb. Like, this seems... Kinda like, you know... Hmm. Anyway, chat, as I was saying... Slight gambling problem, maybe? Oh no! These apes is gone! No! Oh yeah, there we go. I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm- I'm gonna walk away, and I know... ...that it's time to walk away. Good luck. Uh... What is this? I don't- I don't know what that was, chat. Took a heal at full health. Wowie zowie! I get it. Okay, so these aren't like. This is just free whatevers. So I'll just take some bombs. Those are useful. This is, uh, way more linear than I expected. World 2, find the leaf to move blocks. That's fine. Linear is fine by me. Yeah, I figured that wasn't going to be the case. Now, the word Goomba in my native uh, Italian American New Yorker means like some some old Italian guy like a goomba who was just chilling on the street. Maybe it, it sometimes involves mafiosically, sometimes not. But I'm wondering if that's where the word came from. We probably have had this conversation many times, but I wonder what a goomba tastes like. I got the leaf. Oh, oh. In Japan, they're chestnuts, so they're chestnuts. Imagine if you had, like, nuts on your... Mm. No, that's a little too blue. I don't work blue. There's so many gambling houses. I don't like this. I like it a lot, actually. I'm, I'm a big fan of these gambling. These gamblings is very good.
Oh, you son of a... Angry son! Oh. Back here, though? Really? Well, I got the leaf. Are you and Vsauce related? <laughs> no. No, I, uh... I'm happy to answer that question, though, because I have a great answer for it that I love telling, and people probably are, are sick of hearing my smugness when I tell it. But... Uh, oh, it's so good. But, I started my YouTube channel in February of 2010. And Vsauce apparently started their channel in, like, May of 2010. So, technically, I came first. Hey, Link! Actually, I came first, Link! That. I need to get those get this block out of the way. Oh, you can okay, I see. Found my shop of wonderful things. Oh shit, looks like I need to gamble more. Yeah, it's the red candle already. Um, I don't know how to defeat this. Ah. Not that way. It's a pea hat. Is it though? Here's the map! Um, someone said something about Switch 2 rumors about how um, at GDC devs have seen the dev kit and the Switch 2. And there's some rumors that it's as powerful as a PS5. And there's also um, some other stuff that I don't remember. The Final Fantasy VII Remake was running on it natively. With DLSS, with DLSS 3.1. Um, I don't know... I don't know. Um, I've seen a number of different things about this quote-unquote Switch 2, and until I see it, I don't believe it. Like UAPs, which is Unidentified Aerial Phenomena. Oh, it's the flute you need for the Angry Sun. Well, that would be great if it was real. If, if Listen, if it's running PS5 level visuals, with DLSS, I would be very happy, but I'd be worried about two things, the price point, and I'd also be very worried about, um, the, uh, battery life. I don't think Nintendo's gonna release something that overheats, but, you know, I don't, I don't really know. But, I'm down for a Switch 2, and not necessarily a, uh, completely new type of thing. I would much rather a continuation of the Switch with quality of life. Maybe like one or two random gimmicks, but nothing too crazy. Please, not too many crazy gimmicks. That would be so beautiful if, if there was so minimal of the gimmicks. 
Um, better quality Joy-Con. <clears throat> more storage space, more power would be nice, and, uh, that's fine by me. Just keep it portable, keep it, like, quick, like, to load and easy to use, and I'm, I'm fine with that. And have it drift better. I want more drifting in my Joy-Con. And it should be called the Switch U. If there was a gimmick, what would you want it to be? Um, there's some rumor of it having a camera. I guess that's fine. So yeah, cock shots on the toilet, exactly. That's also, incidentally, a really good album. Listen, if anything, I just want Switch 2 to be exactly like Stadia. Because Stadia was the best video gaming... Oh, we can't go back that way. Stadia was the best video game console of the last 30 years, and here's why. And that would be my video title, to enrage everybody. I don't know why that happened, but I'm fine with it. Super happy bonus room, eh? your useful info. Tears of the Kingdom not getting DLC. Uh, Aonuma said they did everything they wanted to, and that, you know, there might not be, uh, DLC for Tears of the Kingdom. Um, there's a part of me that feels like, considering it started as DLC and turned into a giant game, I understand where they're coming from. But if they would rather work on a new world, a new, like, game in a new setting, I would rather that than, I guess, at this point, have the game, um, have not meaningful enough DLC. I just want to try to buy a thing. Wait, did that cost me money? Hold! I think um, an easy DLC for them would be to release like a, a hero mode or something, like a more difficult game mode. I think the, um, the hero mode in Breath of the Wild was kind of annoying because it just made en enemies more spongy, like Gene Simmons' cock. And, um, I would rather... Instead of the sponginess of the enemies, I would- I would rather, like, a... Yeah, I mean, a new game plus with more challenge. But... Not so much that it's just enemies with re regenerating health. I think that was kind of lazy. But, you know, again, I'm fine if they don't want to do, um, DLC and want to work on a new project, and have that be the next Zelda. Oh, I don't know 
what that feather does. I think we'll get a new Smash Brothers on the new Switch. I think they'll do, uh, what they did with Mario Kart 8. I could see there being a couple new characters. I can see, like, Smash Ultimate getting a re-release with, like, some new features, maybe slightly better visuals. I, I don't know, I mean... But, yeah, ultimately I kind of do feel like... Alright, I could use that info now. Um, ultimately... Huh. Secrets in lakes. This is the second time you mentioned Gene Simmons' spongy cock on the same day you played Final Fantasy 16, by the way. Good to know. Is this also the same day where I showed Jar Jar taking a nice bath in ramen? But yeah, I can see them bringing um, Sakurai and his team in again to do a little bit of uh, DLC. Just have a couple new characters. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 it was gonna... The Magical Mystery Tour was gonna take me away. Fuck you. That is a super happy bonus. Ah. Okay. This is new. Something here is new. I didn't go that way, now I can't. Some pipes go underwater. Oh, you piece of shit! Like, why ever even go in there, knowing that's gonna happen? Okay, no, this is good. This is good, actually. Good! I think I need that cloud so I can step over the stuff. Yeah, again, this is- this is really well done. I mean, the map can be a little confusing, the overworld. Uh, good luck, he says. Oh, five? Oh, hell no. Wait a minute. Did that even... Wait, did that even give me more bombs? No, there's... Ah, oh, shit. That's fine. Shop of wonderful things. You had three, you went up to five. Oh. So this is going by the Mario 3, um, level styles. So, World 2 and Mario 3 was desert. World, uh, 3 is water. It's where you acquire the frog suit.
five is maximum. Also, Chad, I think I finally um, made it. I got recognized at a Taco Bell. So, I'm moving up in the world. And it's like, I tried to hide my order so they wouldn't see what level of depression I was uh, currently uh, withholding. No, it's fine. I'm I'm fine. Don't. That's a joke. I know there's gonna be chat members like, oh no, booty's depressed. What must I do? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm fine. I just. But I had. I. I mean, I. I must be. I guess if I had the Taco Bell. What must I do? <laughs> that's my. New, that's my new favorite meme that I just made up. Is not a meme at all. In fact, but. What was my order? It was, um... It was a steak grilled cheese burrito combo. <laughs> Were you depressed about all the money you lost gambling? I Again, I lost... A hundred dollars, and that was it. It wasn't five hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Contrary to popular belief. Skibbity belief. No, I just- I was playing blackjack. It's fine, it's fine. I had a good time. I made friends at the table. It was a great- uh, it was fine. What must I do? No, my limit for, um, being dumb at a casino is a hundred dollars. I don't go, uh, below a hundred. Boom boom. Or a, uh, more than a hundred, rather. You know what I mean? I don't go. No, no, no. Wait, chat. No, 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 no. I mean, I don't go above a hundred. Do they give you free drinks? Yeah, but it's watered down as fuck. And I can't- I really can't drink anymore. My, um, my stomach does not like alcohol. I won't sleep. I know my limit, but then sometimes I have my limit and I'm still like... Alright, great, it's a Tums Festival now. What is that? What did I pick up, chat? What is that item? Is that a boat? Oh, I know what that is. What is this? Hang on, wait, wait. Vinny is a gambling addicted, alcoholic, taco holic, depressed gay gamer. I'm so sad. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, what was. What? They just snuck a word in there. That's it. Interesting. Oh, look, a shield. It says M. It has Mario for M. What must I do? I- you know what, though? It's, um... It's better than someone saying you're Starfield addicted, addicted um, taco gamer. I think Gambling Addict has a better ring to it than Starfield Addict at this point in our culture. So how did the guy recognize you? Oh, um... No, he was just cool. He, he was like, Vincent? He called me by my full name, which was a little strange, but he was really... He's probably watching right now, actually. Um, it, nice to meet you. It, no, it was cool. It was just, like, complimentary and said he liked what I did, and he was not at all rude. He didn't ask for a picture, which I don't mind as long as... I'm never- listen, I'm not getting swamped like, you know, Brian Cranston, Brian Cranberry, 
or someone like that. Like, I don't mind if someone wants to spend a minute. As long as it's like, you know, a minute. And people are chill. Wait, what's wrong with this toad? Oh, right. But yeah, there were people the other day saying, Vinny, you're- you're famous. I'm like, ah, am I though? Am I really? And I'm- I'm not. But then I realized something. If you get recognized at a Taco Bell, you are- has been. But at least I was a was. Did it. Um, oh, weirdly enough, I also got recognized at a, um, Kadoba. No. Oh. Or is it Kadobo? What, how do you say that? Why do I keep getting recognized at, like, semi-fast food or, or just fast food places? The, like, one time every two weeks I eat at one of these shitty establishments. Boat between World 3 and 4. Do you really expect your audience to be eating anywhere better? Yeah, I want to go to like a fancy restaurant and wear a suit and tie and and that's where I want to be seen. No, that's rude, chat member. Listen. Once in a while, it's nice to have to, to pollute your body a little bit. Just once in a while. I mean, And I cook, you know, so I do make food, and I don't just, like, I don't just go get food. So I'm, I'm happy to, uh, potentially grab a couple tacos once in a while, if it's been a while. You expect to be recognized by Tony Soprano? Uh, no, but I went to a deli, like an Italian deli, that had a photo of Tony Soprano on the wall. And it was like some kind of it almost reminded me like of a religious image. I don't know, it just like there was so much wall space dedicated to Tony Soprano that I I was actually kind of I was like, oh, this is their like patron saint. Woke up this morning, got some gabagool. Super flower and super balls for sale. Huh. Can't afford those. Oh, give me the fucking gabagool! That's my favorite Tony Soprano quote. Those are words to live by. I'm begging Watto to do a cover of Woke Up This Morning. Woke up this morning, got myself a gun. I'll give you that much of it. That's all I can really... That's all I can spare. Do you think you or Mike is more stereotypically Italian? Mike. Without a doubt. I am fully Italian, from what I understand, which, as I've said before, may be a lie, because I feel like Italians are pretty prideful. And even if there was, and I have light features, so even... If I had, like, a little bit of Norwegian in there or something, or Irish, I have a feeling they wouldn't tell me. And I just don't care. 
I just don't care to find out. It's Northern Irish. Uh, Irish. Uh, Northern Italian is what I believe I am. Um... But no, I think, yeah, my family can be pretty Italian-sounding, but also not. Like, again, these are people who have lived in the States for like a hundred years, a lot of my family, from what I understand. So, uh... Yeah, I'm not particularly... I have Italianisms, and I like a little Gabagool one. I don't really like Gabagool, actually, never mind. Prosciutto, though, I love. Um, I like the little, uh, mozzarella balls in the water. I like those. I like a good pizza. I like a good pasta. Not the hugest pasta guy in the world, but I like it. It's, it's good. Um, so yeah, but then if you, you know, once in a while I get a little Italian. It's more New Yorker than anything else, I think, but... You know, we, I didn't grow up speaking Italian. I don't know any of it, really. I mean, I took it in school and don't remember any of it. I just, I remember the Maloikia knife growing up. There was, that was one of the superstitions that remained. Which I've told the story, but I'll tell it one more time. Um, my grandmother, well, my, it started with my great-grandmother. Had a knife from Italy called the Maloikia knife. And essentially, um, if you were sick, the assumption was from the old country that it was, uh, demons. And so this knife had, like, powers and was blessed. And essentially, what you'd have to do is throw the knife near the sick person to kill the spirit. And my grandmother continued that for some reason. For a while. And, um, now, being a child and having a knife thrown in your vicinity, that's a really cool thing. So that, yeah, that was, uh, part of my Italian upbringing, I guess, but that was kind of mostly it, aside from some food. Aim at the eyes of Goomba. You aren't allowed to throw it back, no. Does anybody in the family have broken devil horns? That I don't- I don't know about. What about the Moo Moo Man? I remember hearing about the Moo Moo Man, but I never saw the Moo Moo Man. Do you know what a Moo Moo is, in terms of an outfit? Because in my mind, the Moo Moo Man is just some fucker wearing a Moo Moo. What the fuck is a Moo Moo Man? Um, I don't really- here, let me... Homer. Homer Simpson? Hang on. What does that have to do with Homer Simpson? What is a Moo Moo Man? Uh... A mythical man or being that lurks in the dark. Alright? In potentially dangerous places, seeking out vulnerable children is used by parents as a way to frighten younger kids into avoiding these locations unsupervised. Such as spooky forests! It's just a boogeyman under a more, um, fancy name. I guess if you want to consider Moo Moo fancy. I think it's fucking dumb, but I, I, you know, I pictured, again, a dude wearing a moo moo. It was never really, I mean, yeah, it was almost like the Liminal Man, but it was, it was never really scary enough to keep me from playing in abandoned sewage, uh, plants. Which I played a lot in. Which built character, folks. Isn't Staten Island an abandoned sewage plant? Um, 
No, but we had, like, the largest dump in the world, I think? I, I always forget what it was exactly, but uh, we had a pretty large dump. And it was closed down, and now it's a park for kids to play on. I need the bow and arrow for this. Why is that Goomba so wide? Well, I got the item, but I couldn't get the star. Need a bow and arrow, man. Yeah, this is cool. I, I don't think I'm going to be playing this very much longer. Uh, just a couple more minutes. Again, I'm not sure I'm going to finish this at any point ever, but I think it's really cool. Um, some of the level design is a little confusing, but I get what they're going for, and it fits the Mario theming very nicely. The custom stuff is good. The music isn't very good, says a chat member. Well, it's doing its best. It's just repetitive, it's, you know. It's a lot of the same... When can we see Super Zelda Bros? That's just called Zelda 2. But it's pretty good. Overall, I would say that this is a successful experiment. I wasn't expecting a completely custom um, Hyrule. But that has- that was cool. Um... Let's see if I can at least try to find one more thing. Oh, this is new. Oh. The original Zelda 1 didn't even really have a map. Zelda 1 had, like, it was just a gray square, and you had to just kind of assume. Like, it would show you your general location, but it wouldn't have any specific, like, landmarks on the map itself. Which I always found to be a weird choice, however... However, I will say, it made me memorize Hyrule. It's probably in the instruction booklet or something. He misread my message, I said the music was good. Oh, is that what you said? Vinny, I hope you know that because of you, some chat members are calling me Skibbity Boop. Oh, their, their name is Shibbity Boop. Listen, sometimes you just have to deal with the future. It's the future now. We live in a post-Skibbity world. Use a new hammer. Oh, here's World Five. Yeah, I- listen, I had nothing to do with the Skibbity stuff, and if I did, I'd be a multi-billionaire. Or something. I mean, I did tell Pat 
and woolly about it. They didn't know what it was, so I was happy to bring that to them. I wanted to spread the curse a little bit. New Skibbity Toilet dropped. You should watch it. No, I'm, I'm good. You know what's funny, though? In another five years, there will have been another 400 Skibbity Toilet episodes. Didn't you do Skibbity Snake Toilet Corruption MGS3 years ago? I did, yeah. Just wait until Zack Snyder gets the movie rights. You think that's bad? I mean, if anything, I'm just happy people are listening to Tears for Fears a little bit as a result of the skibbity shit. World 6 is ice. And also, you know, if it brings people happiness, I don't care if it's a head in a toilet. Whatever. Not like I didn't grow up with the dumbest shit possible. I don't know how I feel about this area. This area is very suspicious. loops back there. I'm still kind of surprised there isn't a new hammer somewhere. Yeah, there probably is. Did you see that Snapchat added a meat filter, which uses a 3D model of our meat and overlays it on your face? It's called Worm. Wait a minute, THE meat? What, 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 what? If anyone could get footage of that in some way, shape, or form... I don't think it's the official meat. Oh, great. Yeah, just shut up and take my money. It is our meat? Oh my god. Oh my god, it is our meat! What?! Worm lens! <gasps> How the fuck?! Yo, what?! I... I... I can't believe this. Like, no, th no. <laughs> Did they get the rights to it? I mean, I don't know who owns the rights. What what was the um the guy's name? Uh shit. I forget who made this for that commercial. It's a famous It's the the fa um no, Jaeger. Or Yager? Yeah, John Meat. Microsoft, since it was for Bing. That is crazy. I can't believe it is the exact meat. People upload custom lenses to Snapchat. It might not be officially endorsed. Okay. Alright, alright. 
That makes more sense. Okay, I thought maybe Snapchat acquired meat, knowing that it was some kind of internet sensation. This might ruin meat. No. Why would it ruin meat? It's just a worm. I am aware of the, um, me and Joel in Bluey thing. Yes, chat member, I'm aware. Oh, it's the bridge with the, the fucking cheap cheeps. Go over it. Or bloopers. No, cheap cheap. Hey, it worked. Is this a pipe world? Yeah, I probably, like, definitely need a new hammer for this area. But again, I'm just speedrunning at this point, just to see as much stuff as possible, so... After a certain point, you can pretty much get wherever you need to go. So, yeah, it's cool. This is- this is really well done. Um... I would say, yeah, playing through half of it, it is really good. But I did skip ahead. Alright, well, um, that is The Legend of Mario, and, uh, if you want to play it, I don't think, you know, it's, it's very much Zelda 1, so just be aware of that, but, uh, it's, it's good. It's, it's well done. Um, there are people who wanted me to play Mushroom Kingdom Fusion for a while, and, uh, I'm not opposed to that. I'm, I've been thinking about it. I'm just not sure when I'd have a chance to do so. It looks really good. Wait for it to be finished? Well, I wouldn't actually finish the game. I would just play a little bit of it. Would you check out the Sage 23 games? I Only maybe, is what I'll say. I'd have to have them, like, the best of the best submitted to me, but... I'm not sure if that's gonna happen. But yeah, um, so that is The Legend of Mario, and that was very entertaining. I'm going to take a quick break, and we will, we will play uh, Final Fantasy 16, which again, if, you'd, if you're just joining and you haven't seen any of Final Fantasy 16, you should watch just for Clive's Big Naturals, but you're going to be lost in the story, of course. But you know, that's to be expected.